Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Desna Yankopoulou, and I'm the Managing Director of Amindas Pharmaceuticals. I'm very excited to join Foresight Dentech today. Thank you for the opportunity that we were given to present here. Today, I would like to present a unique approach for treating periodontal inflammation with our complement inhibitor AMI-101. We were fortunate that the initial clinical study for this novel approach was performed at Forsyth with Dr. Hetis Hastorik as the principal investigator, with whom we've had an excellent collaboration um, in the last two years. So to start, I would like to give you some um, information about Amindas. Amindas is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company developing advanced next generation complement inhibitors to treat immune and inflammatory disorders. The company was founded by Professor John Lambris, who's a world leader in complement research based at the University of Penn. Dr. Lambris is actually the inventor of the first C3 complement inhibitor that led to the development of Empavelli by Apelis Pharmaceuticals that was recently approved by the FDA for clinical use. At Amindas, we have a portfolio of the next generation, more advanced C3 complement inhibitors that have the potential to become best in class complement therapeutics. Amindas' lead candidate is ME101. It's a small cyclic peptide. It targets the central component of the complement system, protein C3. It is a next generation analog designed to have improved characteristics compared to previous analogs. It has been evaluated in a phase one clinical study in healthy volunteers and as a treatment in COVID-19, and it has an excellent safety profile. Now, what is the complement system that ME101 acts on? The complement is a defense mechanism. It is part of the innate immune system. But this defense system can sometimes be inappropriately activated and attack cells, contributing um, to a broad spectrum of, of immune and inflammatory diseases, as you can see in this slide. So the inhibition of this inappropriate activation of the complement is a promising therapeutic strategy with multi-billion dollar market potential. Today, I will focus on the role of complement in periodontal diseases. You heard from previous presenters uh, a lot about periodontitis. Periodontitis, as many of you know, is a chronic inflammatory disease uh, that affects the tissues that support the teeth. In periodontitis, a dysbiotic biofilm forms in the subgingival tissue that causes severe inflammation, and this in turn leads to the destruction of the periodontal ligament, loss of tissue attachment to the teeth, deepening of the periodontal pocket, and alveolar bone loss, which can ultimately lead to tooth loss. Periodontitis is highly prevalent. It is the sixth most prevalent condition worldwide, and severe periodontitis afflicts 10% of the adult population. It can also lead to an increased risk for certain systemic conditions, such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's, and others. The total cost of periodontitis is huge. It was estimated to be over 300 billion in the US and Europe in 2018. As you know, the current treatments are inadequate to control periodontitis and they cannot prevent disease recurrence. So there's a clear need for innovative therapies. So what is the relationship of periodontitis with complement? Numerous studies in several animal models by Dr. Lambris and Dr. Hadison Gallis have well established that complement is a key disease driver in periodontitis. The researchers showed that complement is actually involved in the transformation of the periodontal microbiota and also in the inflammatory response that, that, uh, response that leads to the destruction of the periodontal bone in this dysbiosis inflammation cycle. Very interestingly, in these studies, in monkeys with pre-existing periodontitis, the researchers used ME101 to inhibit complement. And they showed that if you inhibit complement with ME101, you can stop this vicious cycle by stopping the inflammation that leads to the destruction of the periodontal bone. So these very important preclinical studies led to the design of this phase 2A clinical trial to assess the efficacy of ME101 in adults with gingivitis. For the design and conduct of this trial, we teamed up with the excellent team of Dr. Hastur at Forsyth. So the study was an FDA approved trial. It was a randomized placebo controlled double blind study. We had 39 subjects with chronic inflammation and gingivitis. The subjects received ME101 in one half of the mouth and placebo in the other half in a split mouth design. The treatment was given once a week for three consecutive weeks and we took efficacy and safety measurements for up to 90 days. 
the key efficacy measurement that we um, checked in the study was the change in gingival inflammation. And so we measured two key determinants of gingival inflammation, the gingival inflammation index and bleeding on probing. So in this slide, you can see the results of our primary outcome measure, which is a change in gingival inflammation index on day 28 after the first treatment. The y-axis here shows gingival index units and the x-axis shows the time in days. The top line is placebo and the bottom line is ME101. We got very excited when we actually saw these results for the first time, because as you can see, ME101, given once a week for three consecutive weeks, reduces gingival inflammation at all time points, starting as early as day 21. And surprisingly, this effect is maintained up to 90 days post-treatment. And the difference between ME101 and placebo is very significant at all time points. This slide shows bleeding on probing, another measurement of gingival inflammation. And as you can see, ME101 here also greatly reduces bleeding on probing at all time points compared to placebo. This reduction seen in the gingival inflammation index and bleeding on probing is clinically significant and indicates actually a resolution of inflammation. It is important to note that the differences between placebo and ME101 show the effect of the drug without any other clinical intervention. This innovative approach of using ME101 to treat periodontal inflammation was endorsed by the scientific community and 31 key opinion leaders worldwide supported our approach in this high profile opinion article in Trends in Immunology. Uh, a similar endorsement we received by Van Dijk et al. in this uh, critical review article, which highlighted that complement can revolutionize the treatment of periodontitis. So to conclude, ME101 given once a week for three consecutive weeks resulted in a robust reduction of gingival inflammation and the therapeutic effect lasted for three months at least. This is a clear proof of concept of ME101 in periodontal diseases. This new approach of inhibiting the inflammatory response to combat periodontitis is actually a potential paradigm shift in how these diseases can be treated. We hope that ME101 can provide an innovative disease modifying treatment option and we are now designing a multi-center phase three trial of ME101 in several clinical centers. And many of them have already enthusiastically accepted to participate in our study. And we are in discussions for funding or a strategic partnership to take ME101 to the next phase of development. Thank you very much for your attention.